In this video, we are going to look at how to create a new Spring application. I am having Oracle JDK 8 installed, but you can have 6 or 7 as well. And for the IDE, I am going to use Spring Tool Suite, but you can use any IDE. There are multiple ways to create a new Spring project. Let me first show you how to do that using Spring Tool Suite or STS which is now open on my screen and later we'll talk about the other methods. The easiest way to create a new Spring project is to use the Spring Starter Project Wizard using which we just need to fill certain parameters and STS is going to create a new project for us. And the first parameter is the name of the project. Here I prefer using small alphanumeric characters and dashes only. For example, let's give our name here as natural programmer dash spring dash sample. And then comes the type of the project. This is actually asking you what build tool to use for your project. If you don't know about build tools, those help you compile and package your source code as deployment units like jars and ORs. Among the build tools around, Spring favors Maven and Gradle as you see here. I prefer Maven because that's the most popular, stable and mature one. If you are new to Maven, no worries. You don't have to know much of it to develop standard Spring applications and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about it. And then comes the packaging. Here you mention the kind of packaging you want, that is JAR or OR. Even if you are developing a web application, you can choose JAR packaging and embedded container like Tomcat or Jetty into your JAR, which can then run standalone with the standard Java-JAR command. In fact, people seem to be preferring this embedding way nowadays because deploying your application becomes easier this way. So we are going to choose JAR packaging. And then comes the Java version. Here you mention which version of Java your application would run on. I would choose 1.8, but if your deployment environments, that is where your application would be finally deployed, do not support 1.8, you should choose 1.7 or even 1.6. Actually, you should test the Hello World project in your deployment environments before using any Java 8 features in your code. And then comes the language and we are going to choose Java and then the Spring Boot version. We are going to use Spring Boot in our project. Spring Boot makes it easy to create Spring based applications with minimum configuration and fuss. And those of you who have worked with Spring 3 or before, you know that even if for a small Spring application, you had to do a lot of configuration. Not anymore with Spring Boot, as you shall see. Let's choose the latest stable release here. And then comes the group. If you already know Maven or a build tool, you know what group is. But for people who do not know Maven or a build tool, your projects should be grouped into groups and your groups should be unique in the world. To make the groups unique, the convention is to start it with some domain name you own in reverse order. For example, I am going to have it as com.naturalprogrammer.spring because I own the domain naturalprogrammer.com. If you don't own any domain, just use something which you feel would be adequate. The uniqueness is not mandatory unless your project is going to be a library which you are going to distribute to the world or your project is going to use some library with a clashing name. And then comes the artifact. This uniquely identifies your project in your group. That means if you combine the group and the artifact, it would be unique throughout the world. I am going to use sample here and then comes the description. This is a human readable one line description of your project. Let's leave it as it is. And then comes the package name. 
this is the name of the root java package of your project the convention here is to combine the group and then a dot and then the artifact if you have dashes in your group or artifact package name would not accept those so you can just remove those or replace those with underscores or do something about those and then comes the style here you mention the kinds of the project you want or technically the dependencies you want in your project we'll talk more about it later but for now let's just choose web and all these data and the dependencies that we are providing here can be changed anytime later so let's now click on next and then finish so we have our sample project created here let's now talk about other ways to create a project if you are not using spring tool suite another way to create a new spring application would be to visit the website start.spring.io where you will need to feed the same parameters those you fed in the wizard and then you can download the project which you can then unzip and import in your IDE but before going this way you might like to check out if your IDE too is having a wizard like the one we used if you want to code your application from real scratch without using any IDE you can create it just by hand like any standard Maven application following the Maven directory structure and guidelines. The official spring guides like this one building a restful web service show you how to do it that way. So we are going to end our video here and resume our discussion in the next video in which we are going to quote some hello world stuff. But before we end this video let me tell you that after creating a project, you should put your project under version control. Among the version control systems like Git and SVN, Git should be the best choice unless you have some other factors influencing your decision. If you don't know about Git well enough so that you can use it in your project, my rapid Git tutorial would be useful to you. You will find a link to it with a discount coupon at my blog here. If you found this video useful, please take a moment to like it by pressing the like button below and make sure you share it with your friends and colleagues. It might be helpful to them as well and they will appreciate you. You might also like to subscribe to this channel and do not forget to subscribe to my blog naturalprogrammer.com to receive free and highly discounted coupons on my full courses as soon as they get released.